So you're trying to cook at home and you're looking at Home Chef as a possible option for meal kits and you found my video. Does that sound about right? Well, you're in the right place because I tried out Home Chef for the first time this week and unboxed all the ingredients, cooked up the recipes, and I'm not a professional chef. I am a true home chef. I like cooking, I like eating, and I wanna give you my complete thoughts of what I thought, my thoughts about what I thought for Home Chef, so stick around. If you've been watching my videos, you saw the unboxing, you saw cooking the recipes, but this is sort of the overall view, my very complicated scientific rating scale of a four fourth rating system on the price, the instructions, and of course, the taste. And then I'll give you my overview thoughts of the whole thing. So stick around till the end. And also, again, if you haven't had a chance, there is a discount code in the description below so you can get a good amount of money off of your order from Home Chef and be able to try it out for yourself and see what you think. So I got the box delivered on a Tuesday, I think it was. And the way that it worked out was I wasn't here and I was out for the evening. So my wife brought the box in, put it out in the garage, which is, it's cold, it's winter here. So uh, it sat there overnight and then I got to it the next day. And I have to say, everything was packaged really, really well. Everything was cold to the touch. The ice pack was still a solid block of ice. I love that Home Chef has everything in, in separate bags. So we ordered two different meals, the white cheddar pesto mac and cheese, and we got the bacon and cheese stuffed chicken. They had separate bags for each of these. So you literally just pull out the bags. And one thing that I, the thought that I had about that was, if we didn't wanna cook all four servings at once, it literally was divided up into a bag of two servings. So I could have easily just went, oh, let me just make two of those tonight. I'll make two of them again tomorrow. I ended up making them all together, but I thought it was really great how those were kind of divided up that way. If you didn't get a chance to watch the whole unboxing, there I have a card up here. You can click on that and be able to see the unboxing and see me pulling out all the ingredients. But there was a little uh, binder that was in there. And as you see, these menu cards have these holes per per perforated, <laughs> perforated into uh, punched. What do you, what am I saying? They have holes punched, three hole punch in there. So you could really take and save these recipes in the binder, which is kind of cool and a kind of a neat little branding thing to kind of keep in front of mind. And what I liked was in that binder, it had those kind of pre things that you need to do. The other tools, you know, that you'll need oil, you need salt and pepper, you need cutting board, those kind of things, which sort of, uh, in some of the other ones, you know, you're kind of figuring out as you go. So I thought that was great. I really thought the selection that they had on their website of all of the different uh, menu options were terrific. There was a great range of prices. And I don't wanna get into the specifics of the price because it'll be different depending on when you order it, what specials they have going on. And obviously if you click the discount link uh, below, you're gonna get it at a much cheaper price. But just talking in generality of the price, I thought the prices were, were really, uh, were, were good. Maybe fell a little bit on the higher end of the price, but, the, in contrast to that, they had great options. So I don't mind paying a little bit extra when it's something that is uh, worthwhile. And I think that that's a great plus to their price point is that it isn't like, oh, every meal is $20. It's each meal varied depending on what it was. For instance, they have these express meals, which I tried one of them in the mac and cheese. These only take 15 minutes to prepare. And I'll talk more about that as far as the instructions go. And so this was a little bit on the lower end of the scale. This was on the kind of middle end of the scale. So depending on whatever your price, whatever your schedule is, whatever your skill level is, all of that, the prices kind of allowed you to adjust for that. So for all those reasons, I give this a two out of four forks. I thought that the prices aligned with what it was. I like that they had different price points, but I guess depending on what your budget is, it might be different for you. But I give it two out of four forks. There is something unique that Home Chef does with their instructions that I hadn't seen any of the other ones. Up in the top corner of the instructions, they have before you cook. And in that before you cook section, they have preheating the oven, you wash the vegetables, wash your hands, removing it from the package, all of those sorts of things are before you cook. So I think in relation to that, 
uh, this time was pretty accurate. So this Express was a 15 minute. I would say it probably took me closer to 20 minutes if you take out the washing the vegetables and stuff, because there wasn't much to chop. There was, it was broccoli and tomatoes. You know, I wanna be as honest and transparent as possible. I'm not a pro chef, so I, I am very intent on like watching, reading through each of the instructions and making sure I'm doing everything correctly. I don't improvise well. If I'm out of something or I don't have uh, a piece for an ingredient, I guess it's called in the cooking world, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know, uh, oh, if I add more of that, I don't need as much of that. I mean, even when I make Kraft macaroni and cheese, I still follow the instructions on the box, which is uh, uh, very funny, uh, comical to my wife. But, and one time I was out of milk and I didn't know, oh, if I had more butter, maybe that would equal out. Anyway, what I appreciate is that all the instructions are very clear. They kind of bold certain things and they have in the instructions kind of bullet points. So step five has like several bullet points in how that lines up. Having said that, the, the negative thing, or, or kind of on the con side, is you, they wanted you to half the tomatoes, and in the picture they show like these tiny kind of, uh, what do they call the heirloom potato, uh, potatoes, tomatoes, and I, I just had two big tomatoes. So that I was able to figure out to cut that in smaller chunks, and maybe that didn't hold up as well in the recipe as it would have in, in full. So I don't know why that was a different thing, I don't think it affected the taste. I don't think it, it changed any of that. But I thought the instructions were really easy to follow. I like that in the, the cooking, the olive oil, they were very specific about how much olive oil to add in there. It did take two pans because I had to brown the red crumbs to put on the top. So it was like I had to dirty an extra dish. It would have been nice if it was all in one dish. And maybe I didn't really need to brown that, but just, just to kind of go along with that. A question that came up while I was doing the bacon and cheese stuffed chicken, Again, very, you know, this is a multi-step process, cutting the chicken and stuffing it and creating the cream cheese bacon branch stuff to stuff in there and putting it all together. It felt very easy to follow. And I also felt as I was cooking it, I was at the, the optimum amount of uh, stress freeness. I had stuff going in the oven. I had the, uh, the skillet and was cooking the green beans. And honestly, I felt like I got to a point where I was, everything was happening. Sometimes with these recipes, especially ones that are you know, 30, 40 minutes, that's because so many things have to be happening at the same time. And in this case, it, there was, but I felt like I was able to manage it and felt it was right within my skill set. The con on this recipe was, and not a huge one, was I, it took me a minute to find that the, the dressing was the jalapeno ranch dressing, because I saw that at some point when, where is that going? It says dressing on there, but they just kind of used the generic um, universal term, the dressing, which wasn't a big deal, because I wasn't gonna eat the jalapeno ranch. I'll get into that in the taste. My wife loved it. So yeah, the instructions I thought were uh, very easy to follow. I do like on the front, they have sort of the, the cooking time, the range, which I 30 to 40 minutes, that was pretty accurate. Again, everything kind of lined up really well, wasn't too complicated. They have exactly what you need. It's very clear to see they have sort of their, their cooking temperature set up, how long you can keep the ingredients before you have to cook it, spice level, difficulty level, intermediate, which is great. And then obviously the express is easy. So I really thought those were really well laid out. And I think some of the better instructions that I've seen across the board, in that stance, I'm gonna give this three out of four forks for the instructions. Again, not being a professional chef, this was, you know, sometimes it, it, it I, I need more information, um, you know, than, than less, but, but it also gotta be easy to follow so I don't miss anything. These were one of the few instructions where I didn't miss anything or have things cooking and frying and trying to look at the instructions to see what to do next. So three out of four forks for the uh, instructions. Now, onto the taste, the part that everybody's most interested in. Both of these, really, really delicious and flavorful. The bacon and cheese stuffed chicken, that stuffing was so flavorful, it was almost surprising, because I think sometimes some of the recipes tend to be a seasoned to taste sort of thing. I didn't have to add anything onto it. And in fact, I forgot to put the salt on the top until it had started cooking and added it later, and I don't think I added 
nearly as much as they did based on the, the picture. And I don't feel like I needed it at all. It was very flavorful, really, really tasty. In fact, so to give you a little bit of my wife's review, she thought that the taste of the chicken was so, not overpowering, but so flavorful that she was like, I didn't really need the flavor of the green beans. So those were like a garlic butter. And she's like, it was almost too much flavor. She would have been fine with just plain green beans because the chicken was so flavorful. So I think of that as a compliment because I'm a big spice seasoning kind of, not spice, but seasoning kind of person. This mac and cheese, I, I think I've had one bowl of this and everybody else in uh, my family, my wife and my, my uh, Tyler, but eating this like crazy. So uh, this one was really good. So I think the, the taste was really, really good. I hesitate to give anybody a perfect score, but I, this was the best tasting. Uh, usually it's like one I really like, one the, the other one. Um, you know, maybe, maybe I'll go back on this, but uh, being just very strictly scoring, I'm gonna say three and a half forks out of four. Yeah, I'm having a hard time just, just pushing it over to the four. Um, you know, what the heck? We're gonna do four forks out of four in the taste because I can't think of anything bad to say about the taste because it was really good. In fact, you know, I'm recording this in the morning and uh, I know I have some more leftovers in the fridge right next to me. I'm probably gonna eat that for lunch today. It was so good and it warms up really well. Um, so to get a little extra, again, using the discount code, you can get uh, different serving sizes and they have great options. Yeah, let's do four out of four forks. Uh, I don't give a perfect score often, but this was really, really good uh, and worth trying. So please order your own box and let me know what you think. So overall, it was, it was a really great experience for Home Chef. I love the little binder, those little extra touches. I like that the bags were all divided up. I like the options that were on the menu. The instructions were very clear and straightforward. I mean, it was just across the board was really good. Again, I think that the price is a little bit higher than, than what it could be, but, it, but use that discount code and, and you can, you know, it levels it out, which is, which is a great option. So overall, I'm gonna give this three out of four forks because the taste was great. The instructions were, were mostly good, uh, you know, except for like the, the, the tomatoes were a little bit different and, and uh, some of that and losing track of what the jalapeno ranch dressing was for. But overall, really, really good. Great experience with Home Chef. Uh, this is one I will definitely be repeating and trying some other recipes from there. Because honestly, when I was picking out the recipes, I thought, oh gosh, I, I almost got three different dishes, but I was like, I'll never have time to cook all those because there was just so many that were appealing and, and exciting. There's some burgers that they have on there. I'm a big burger fan. So I wanna try out some of those. So yeah, three out of four forks overall scale for uh, Home Chef. And th again, this is coming from somebody that just likes to eat, likes to cook, not professional in any stance of that. Overall, a very enjoyable experience for uh, Home Chef. So again, you can check out my other videos in more detail, talking about the recipes, follow along as I cook them, and some of my reviews of the other meal kits that we've been reviewing here on the channel. And if you wanna follow me on my journey as I'm, I'm finding the best meal kit, and Home Chef is up there, so I wanna see if I can find somebody to beat Home Chef. By all means, subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, and uh, you know, drop a little comment below and just say hi. I love interacting and talking with everybody there. So as always, thank you for, for tuning in, and go out and order yourself some, some Home Chef, and have a great meal, and, and have fun cooking it as you go.